he lived in some like pickup mansion thing and did all the shits and tried the peacocking and everything. And he realized that he was accidentally kind of like coming across as a homosexual to women. That's what he thought he was doing. And then he was like, what the fuck am I doing? So he decided to just start <laughs> talking to girls like. Isn't the whole idea of pick of artist stuff that you don't get the number, but you still get laid where you just say, this was great. I'll see you next time. You know, that I thought that was the whole point. You know, well, you if get you a were like a night, the first night, if you're really <laughs> like a nightclub guy, then I guess, yeah, yeah, getting, it wouldn't matter to get the number because you try and get them to your place the same night. Right. But for me, that was like the worst strategy for me. You go like downtown, try and pick up a chick coordinate separating her from her friends going all the way home 30 minutes away making sure it's all planned out accordingly she might be you know slightly intoxicated like it's just a terrible way to go about yeah. doing it so i i would get numbers during the day or an online dating set up a date as quick as possible on the first date then you you know move the uh move the needle kind of thing but i would never like night game was my least favorite of all i like that one it was like in and out in 30 minutes yeah, I guess, but it was like but this is this is Thailand, guys. So it's it's a little bit difficult, a different than the Western world. I would never drink and do drugs though. So it was like being in a night setting where it's all kind of like nonverbal communication. You can't actually have a conversation or anything. It was it wasn't my wheelhouse. I was better at differentiating myself by actually having the balls to go up to the girls in like the daytime in some setting that they would otherwise not be expecting to get hit on, or you know, just. uh being efficient with online dating and whatnot. So the, the night game thing, you know, it wasn't really my, it was my least favorite. And even when I was a bouncer, it was still my least favorite, even though it was literally my job to be there talking to them. So. So I read Neil Strauss's book when it was published. I remember it. it I remember it hitting Virgin bookstores and I was living in Qatar at the time of all places. And uh, I picked up the book immediately, read it. Although actually it, I was the first guy in my in my grade. I know I'm a nerd and I'm clearly a nerd and I'm a nerd at heart and I'm an introvert at heart. But weirdly, oddly, I got bullied weirdly in seventh and eighth grade. So I became a delinquent in high school. So I was the tough guy in high school and the guy who got expelled and the, that kind of thing. So I was the first guy to get to get with a girl and the first guy to have a girlfriend, and all that. So I never really had like, but I grew up without a mother and I grew up without sisters and I never had a female like influence in my childhood so i didn't really understand women right for me when i read the book it was like the book was more confusing than anything else for me because i was like i'm not I, I, i'm first of all the peacocking thing it hit me though i realized something i was doing without realizing it but other than that that game of negging also the negging i realized i was doing without realizing it so it made me somewhat conscious of what i was doing but my view was more like your friend chris's so chris you were describing that the way you just described um, um, pickup art is the opposite of what Chris was, so, which is that they're saying you can just do this like magic with your words, NLP, which doesn't work, that, that kind of yeah. like neurolinguistic programming. And Chris was saying it's not about that. It's yeah. about what you are and what you project, the image you project. In, right. Is that am I summarizing it all? Yeah, so it's interesting because the game, the guys actually in the book, Chris used to go out and do pickup with. He wasn't like a main, he wasn't one of the main guys in that circle with, you know, Mystery, Neil, um, Artisty Tyler, those kind of guys. He was, uh, he would hang out with them though. And he lived in some like pickup mansion thing and did all the shits and tried the peacocking and everything. And he realized that he was accidentally kind of like coming across as a homosexual to women that's what he thought he was doing and then he was like what the fuck am i doing so he decided to just start talking to girls like humans and just you know develop as you go and the first you know however many times you crash and burn because you don't have a script like mystery where it's like you're in attraction phase one so you have to do a neg right now and then you have to you know, tell her some fake story that you've said like 30,000 times to DHV. And then from there you go into seduction stage, whatever. And then within two hours, she will be sleeping with you. Like, it's not, it's not a math so question. It doesn't work like that. But yeah, like I would literally, he did this too. But when I first started and I read the game, I had like a piece of paper with like every fucking thing you need to do in my jeans pocket that I would read before I go and be like, okay, I need to say this and then I need to do that. And then I need to do this. But it doesn't really work, as you would find out if you did that shit. It is uh, 
you basically learn how to become an actor who's memorized stuff, but you don't actually learn game because you never develop any kind of conversation skills when you're just reading or memorizing something. So I would... Which is why they don't have relationships, right? Also, why they can't continue it sometimes, right? I would imagine so, yeah. So Chris, he started doing the... uh, Just talking to people and eventually you develop such a lack of approach anxiety to the point that you can talk to hot women like you're talking to you know you guys right now there's like no anxiety whatsoever and you just become good at talking you know you don't sound like you're trying too hard you don't sound like you're trying to prove something you don't sound like you're trying to you know pull a fast one which is like literally what the mystery method is it's like trying to make her feel like shit a little bit like indirectly without her noticing Catch ball. Boost, your, boost yourself up and make it seem like you're the sick guy and um yeah so i just like very much um kind of uh i don't know what the word is um aligned with the stuff chris did and really resonated with me that's the word and um just started throwing myself into the fire and i like got you know it's called when you blow out the set is when you just like fucking implode and like don't even know what to say and whatnot did that many times but eventually you just actually learn how to talk and then through hundreds of approaches you get good at it and then after a while you start to actually be able to get numbers and then after that you know many times you get dates after that and then after that you actually start getting laid and then blah 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 and then eventually you're actually a full-blown like functioning human who's like getting women <laughs> you know the weird the weird thing is i've never in my whole life approached a woman till today 